Hello guys, my name is Symphonic, and I am back with another Zombies gameplay. Now, I know this is not Nuketown, or this is not multiplayer yet, but uh, I will be bringing some multiplayer uh, gameplay. I actually got a, an insane score. Uh, I actually posted a comment uh, in, in reply to one of my subscribers about it, so... Um, that's the only time that you'll, you'll actually see it before the video is posted. Other than that, you'll just have to find out what the score is, but just know that it's an insanely high score. And, okay... Alright, sorry about that, guys. I got interrupted by my parents, but I decided to leave it in because it was kind of funny. The okay rage. Yeah, I decided to leave that in, so <laughs> yeah, um, my parents interrupted me, or my dad interrupted me uh, during the commentary, and so I had to kind of cut it out. And uh, But I kept wanted to keep the intro because I thought it was alright. So, uh, yeah, so this is more transit gameplay. Uh, I think I, I want to talk more about this map. I played it a little bit more since the. <coughs> Ew, excuse me, since the last time I recorded that commentary, and I've sort of liked, I sort of liked this map a little bit more than I did before. I watched uh, Syndicate's gameplay at one point, and he showed me a really cool uh, train, a zombie train uh, spot that works really well. So I've been using his spot uh, near the M16, and it works really, really well. And I, I've actually sort of, sort of started to like this map a little bit better than I did for my first impressions of it. I'm still not a huge fan of it. It's definitely nothing compared to the Black Ops 1 and COD 5 maps. But uh, it's it's a little bit better than my first um, in initial impressions of it. Which is good, at least. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, as, as some of you posted in the comments, you want to see Nuketown Zombies gameplay. Uh, I will be getting that in the next couple days. I have to do a lot of homework, and then tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so I won't have the most time in the world. But I do have Thanksgiving break still, so I, I will I will be posting it at, at least. So that's good. <laughs> um, so I've actually, uh, as I was starting to explain in the beginning of the commentary, I have a really, really good gameplay. Uh, it was a knife-only gameplay, I'll tell you that much, on Nuketown Demolition. And uh, I will just say this right now. Uh, it, it was, I'll just say this, it was over... Uh, I'll just say it was a Fear Crads style. It was a Fear Crads scoreline. I'll just say that much. It was a Fear Crads kill scoreline. So, if you know who Fear Crads is, he pulls these nasty, nasty games. Like, oh my goodness, he's insane. So, it, it's it's his standards, basically. It's a really, really good gameplay, and I'm so excited to show it to you guys. Uh, it has a lot of deaths, but it's knife only, and... Um, really per round there's only it's only a few a couple deaths per round so it, it when it adds all up see there's three rounds in demolition you have yeah, the, it was three rounds because you know if you um you know one might see won the first round we lost the second round then there was the uh the tiebreaker round and um so there's three rounds and i got less than 10 deaths every single round so actually the second round i got 11 deaths but i got like over twice as many kills so anyway, it doesn't really matter. It, it it all it all kind of evens out, and there's very very few deaths per round. So it's all in all an amazing gameplay, and I'm really really excited to show it to you guys. You guys will flip out when you watch it. I think so. I just found that magic lobby, and it just the game just worked out in my favor. As I said, it was knife only, and I was trying to go for the ballistic knife with gold. Uh, I think I might have said this in my last commentary, but I got the combat knife gold. I have now had the, I now have the ballistic knife gold as well. So I have the ballistic knife and the combat knife gold, which means all I have to do to get diamond on the special weapons is finish the crossbow and finish the assault shield. Once I finish those two, I will have diamond camo on the specials. Uh, something uh, I found a weird glitch though, or my friend found a weird glitch. He actually unlocked diamond camo uh, just by playing combat trading online. I don't know how it happened, but he unlocked. Uh, Diamond came up by accident. He unlocked uh, the pre the premium and founder status, uh, elite members, title and emblem, which he didn't. He's not even an elite founder or a premium founder, I don't believe anymore. So it was kind of weird what happens, but um, yeah. So he ended up being a he ended up unlocking tons of stuff that didn't even like he didn't even get really in from the beginning of the game some weird combat training glitch he ended up losing them a few games later once the uh once the game actually caught back up to what happened so it took it away and reset his classes but it's not like he reset his rank or anything he just reset his classes so he had to redo all of his custom classes again but that's not a big deal 
And uh, I don't know if you guys have um, have tried the Galva Knuckles on this map, but oh my goodness, the Galva Knuckles are insane. It's like this shocky electric power of justice that just shocks the zombies to death. I want to say it works till around about round 14 before it actually stops being effective. But even still, that's a lot. That, that that's a really long time to have something effective. You could just you know. First five rounds get up to 6,000 points. Then once you get to 6,000, then buy your Galva Knuckles, be set for you know until round 14. I mean, it's basically uh, guaranteeing you getting to round 14. And you know, once you get tons of points uh, up to round 14 with Galva Knuckles, you know, then you're ready to go buy new weapons, hit the box, get your perks, and then set, set game. You can get really far that way. So I might try that strategy. And uh, when I play Nuketown Zombies, I need to figure out a strategy on that map. I know that guy who camps is a pretty good strategy that got him to round 43. I'm probably going to try that strategy uh, in particular. But I'm really excited to play more zombies and stuff. Uh, Black Ops 2 in general is just really, really fun right now. Like, I know it's the honeymoon period. And I know that once uh, once we start finding out all the problems, you know, we're going to start, you know, complaining about stuff. Like, I'd say one of the things that I'm going to start complaining about is definitely the... Um, the Remington 870, and I think the Remington 870 is going to be one of the things that people complain about. I, I don't, the SMGs, I, the PDW is like the most used. I, I think that, oh, look how bright this room is, oh my goodness. Uh, the PDW is definitely the most used SMG in the game. Well, I, I'd say the most used gun in the game. So I think that's gonna be the new. Uh, that's gonna be the new MP7. The PDW is gonna be the, that that one gun that just everyone uses. Uh, so it's gonna be like the new tryhard gun or whatever. But I don't know. I feel like you can use other guns as well and still be good against a PDW or whatever other gun. So I feel like there's not going to be one overpowered gun in the game. I just think that PDW is just going to be the most used, just because it has a really good magazine size and it, it's pretty effective. Uh, it's it's not it doesn't have the fastest rate of fire, but its magazine size makes up for that. And I feel like that's going to be the selling point for people that want to pick a gun to use. So. I feel like the the guns are really balanced in that game. I would say that the Remington 870 is a bit more powerful than the other shotguns, for sure. And I feel like it's going to be one of those guns that gets annoying. But I, I don't think it'll be a huge deal. Sniping's not a big deal either. Like, you actually have to be pretty good at sniping to do well, because there's no aim assist. And it takes longer to zoom in. So you have to be a good sniper to get, you know, to, to quick scope or whatever, snipe in general. And I feel like I'm a decent sniper. I have the uh, DSR-50 gold. I'm working on the SVU to get that gold as well. Because I want to get diamond on my snipers also. I'm actually second prestige right now. Although I could be, a, I'd say I could be fourth or fifth prestige right now. Um, because like I prestige in a day for first prestige. Like I got through first prestige in just like 24 hours. But like legitimately in 24 hours is crazy. Uh, but I I, 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 did, I haven't actually been tryharding the past couple days. Like the past three days. I've just been using ballistic knife, crossbow, and stuff, so I've um, not been leveling up so fast, you know, using these really, really uh, tough-to-use weapons. So, once I, you know, get better, or once I, not, not get better, but once I start actually tryharding and using regular guns, uh, my rank should be getting up really, you know, boosting really fast. And uh, then once Christmas break comes, I will be pretty much 11th Prestige, or Prestige Master, as it's called in this game. Uh, so I'm thinking that I'll definitely, I'm probably going to be really close by the time Christmas break comes, but once Christmas break, break actually happens, uh, I'll be done prestiging, then I can actually focus on camos and stuff, then I'll do maybe camos with every gun, I could do a camo, um, thing, I could do diamond camo on every gun in Black Ops 2, that would be pretty cool, I could do a series like that, you know, I don't know, kind of something like, um, What's his name? I can't remember who does it, but this one guy did gold camos in Modern Warfare 3, and it was a pretty good idea for a uh, video. So, um, JX23, that's who did it. JX23, he did the gold camos with every gun. I feel like it's a good idea, so I'll try that out. Anyway, uh, the video is over with now, so I will talk to you guys later. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, anyway, see you guys later. Peace out.